While having the crime caught on camera is a big help to investigators, homeowner Raul Gonzalez says that having several people steal items from right under his roof makes him feel violated. Gonzalez says he woke up Saturday morning to find several items missing from his back patio. That's when he went to check his security cameras. They came right in here into my back patio and they started just uh, taking stuff from uh, all sides of the patio. They took uh, bicycles, they took tool sets, um, and the big item was a, a generator, 5,000 watt generator. Not cheap. The FAR Police Department is valuing those missing goods at just over $1,000. Investigators say because there wasn't forced entry, the porch was easily accessible, making it a theft rather than a burglary. If something's of value, bring it inside or place it into a locked shed. Don't leave it outside where uh, people can have easy access to it. If for some reason they cannot remove it and place it inside a building or inside their residence, use some type of locking mechanism to bolt it down to keep it from being stolen. But while Gonzalez says he misses those material items, it's the false sense of security that bothers him most. My privacy is not respected. A person's privacy is not being respected. These kids need to know that they cannot be doing this. And it's, it's my kids, my, my daughters, everybody's scared. Nobody wants to go outside at night. Every, it, it just affects uh, uh, the whole family all the way around. Police described two of the three suspects as young teen males. One was wearing a white shirt and light colored shorts and the other wearing a striped shirt with white shorts. Hopefully somebody can recognize them and we want to catch them before they continue into bigger crimes. We also asked RPD about people posting pictures or video of possible suspects on Facebook and they tell us people really need to be careful about the way that they word those posts on social media because it could become a legal situation. Now if you're not sure you can always run it by the investigator on the case first. In the Adele County Newsroom, I'm Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.